Hello there. Right, Tales of the Old Man at Sea. Now, being a ship's engineer, we have to climb inside the engine sometimes to fix it. And uh, uh, one particular ship I was on, this uh, was a giant two-stroke engine. And uh, it wasn't like a conventional engine with a piston and a con rod hanging down. This, this piston had a, a rod that was fixed and then the con rod and crank below. Uh, so there was like a space at the top of the crank case and then a space before the, the bottom of the piston when it was at, at its bottom most part. So in that section there was a, what they call the scavenge space. And uh, these pistons were water cooled and they had telescopic pipes that would come down from the piston through that scavenge space and into the crankcase. And inside the crankcase, it, the arm would go up and down with the, uh, with the piston as it was going up and down. Uh, and uh, what, what we had to do when we changed the piston was to pull out the center part of this telescopic pipe. Now, it was a giant nut, so you, what we had to do, right, first of all, is to, we had to put a platform up. This platform was made out of metal strips running crossways and lengthways, forming a solid platform, but with big rectangular holes between each of the little divisions. So, what we had to do is we had to climb up with our flogging spanner and loosen the nut off. This, this nut had a hole in the middle that would allow us to put a, a jacking screw in and another nut and we could jack out the telescopic pipe. So we would undo the big nut, insert the, uh, the jacking screw, uh, and then using a, a smaller spanner would be to jack out the, uh, the telescopic pipe. Anyway, this uh, particular engineer climbed up there uh, because it's a dirty, horrible, oily job. Because quite often, there, you, we, as soon as you get into port, you shut the engine down while the engine's still nice and hot and the oil's dripping down on you. You'd have to climb up there and and get this off. And uh, so anyway, we, this guy used his old raggedy old boiler suit, which had a a hole in the crutch and uh, he decided that he was going to climb up there and sit on this platform uh, but he also decided he wasn't going to wear any underpants so <clears throat> as you can imagine being sat splay legged on this platform well as you can imagine the, the holes in the grating were just happened to be the right size for um yeah uh, anyway it was it was too far round for him to reach to free himself so he was trapped he couldn't stand up and he couldn't free himself so uh <laughs> he spent half an hour screaming for someone to come along and help him get out and uh, of course, it was just a matter of. <laughs> so let that be a lesson to you. When you have to climb inside a crankcase of an engine, make sure you wear underpants. Yes. Anyway, so that's tale number two of the old man at sea. There might be a few more coming, so stay tuned. Okay, bye then.